It is MMAWeekly.com. I'm Damon Martin. I'm here at UFC 154 with Patrick, the Predator Cote. And Patrick, you get to fight back in Montreal, in your hometown. What does it mean to you to fight here uh, in the UFC? Fight in Montreal, it's insane. Oh, the crowd is it's loud. It's very intimidating for uh, for the other guy, for the other fighter who's fighting. Uh, you know, Canadian guy. Uh, it's just just fun to fight in front of their the, our families and, and friends. There's always an added pressure with that, also. You know, knowing that the crowd's on your side, your friends are there. How do you adapt to that? And is it something you've kind of gotten used to, having fought here before, having fought in Canada so many times? Yeah, and you know what? Uh, I do that since like 10 years now, so I have a lot of experience and. I'm not getting very stressful about the fight because that's the only thing I'm 100% sure is going to happen. The fight's going to happen. So I don't try. I, I'm not losing energy to that, to do that. And, uh, you know, I went to New York for the, for the, this time for, uh, to train over there for a couple of weeks. So, you know, I, I put myself a little bit outside of all the, all the, the, the big, uh, big thing in Montreal about the UFC. So, you know, I, when I came back, I was, uh, I was ready to go in a good mindset. Where were you at in New York? I went to train with uh, Matsera and Costa Filippo and over there. I did a lot of sparring with Filippo, that who is a former pro boxer like Sakura. I think that was one of, that was the perfect training partner for me for this fight. Uh, he's powerful. He's a beast, man. Yeah, Costa Filippo is he is a really tough guy. He hits like a rock. But I took everything he gave me, and uh, you know I gave him back. And uh, I'm really prepared for this fight. I'm really prepared for second round. What What's the biggest thing you took away from your last fight? I know Kung Lee and Alessio Sakar are much different fighters. Other than they like to stand up, that's literally about yeah. the only thing you can say. But is there something you can use from that last fight going into this one? Oh sure, you know, against Kong Lee, I did. I think I did 90% right uh, in this fight. You know, some details caused me to fight, and at this level, it's, it's that. Uh, you know, I, I didn't cut the angle well. Uh, I didn't touch a target like I, I was. I, I was thinking that I, w I will do, and uh, but that was more about the, the cutting the angle. I was a little bit more too much running after him instead of just cutting the angle and try to trap him somewhere. Uh, I worked a lot on that. Worked a lot on footwork. Uh, we work a lot on uh, power too, because you know I was I was doing like uh, I wanted to do so many things against Kong. I wanted to wrestle with him. I wanted to do a Muay Thai team with him. I wanted to go on the ground with him. No man, I'm not a technical fighter. I'm a brawler with a good chin and power in my hands. That's why you know, I had the title fight. That's why I knock people out, and that's that's what we think uh, this thing's gonna you know make us the winner Saturday night. You know, get back where we were before. If there was one criticism of Sakara in his fights, very good boxer, but he allows himself to be hit a lot. It's cost him in a lot of fights. Do you feel like, without giving away game plan, I mean, if he plays that game with you, that's the fight right there? If he allows you to put your hands on him, is that the fight? <laughs> Uh, that's the plan. You know, uh, we know that he's a really good boxer. He's fast, good combination. He has a lot of experience, but you know, his chin is maybe not his best weapon. Uh, I think he knows that. Uh, but you know, his instinct is a boxer. He likes to stay there and like his exchange. You know, he lost by knockout, but he won a couple with with knockouts too. Uh, but you know what? For sure, we're gonna test his chin. And I uh, you know I think the power is on my side. I think that you know my chin is better than his chin. But you know, if he's not going down. The first powerful punch I'm gonna give him. I have to stay focused and stay in my game plan and you know, just do it again. So, last question coming home to Montreal, what are we thinking? Knockout of the night bonus? Is that a nice way to come home? Uh, let me tell you something. I'm not thinking about that right now. For me, it, the W is the most important thing. You know, I don't really care about the bonus. Uh, for sure, you know, bonus. It's the it's the name of that. That's bonus. You know, <laughs> it's right. The first thing you want, it's it's the win. And for me, that's the most important fight of my career. And uh, you know, I'll be okay with the win. <laughs> awesome, Patrick. Thank you as always for the time. All right, thanks.